All right, so now we're going to look at the text tool and the text and how to edit it. So go to insert, go to text frame, click and drag it out. And then maybe uh, we'll start out with something like insert some sample text. Okay, so highlight the sample text and go into, and this can be done by control A, by the way, to highlight everything. And let's go to the properties. Let's go to text. Text, I could center the text. Left to right, justify it. I could go down and change the font style. So here's all the fonts. And if you put your cursor over this and wheel around, you can change the fonts just with the wheel mouse. So if you see something you like, uh, this is a quick way to just go through and pick out something that looks a little bit better as far as the font is concerned. Now the wheel mouse is very powerful here. So if that dictates on size, anything I want, color, I can change the color to anything based upon the wheel mouse. So in InDesign, for example, like Adobe, you can't do that on a Mac, but here you can. All right, so let's take this, this little bit right here. Um, I can change the size of just that one, just by going like this, saying that's going to be of a different size. Or I can go down and start working with the advanced settings, and I can say, well, I can make that word wider, taller. I can increase the line spacing, both in vertical and horizontal, just with the wheel mouse. <laughs> Very cool. If you're if you're from InDesign, you know what I'm talking about. But and this is why I gave up uh, the Adobe products because wow, that that makes life so much easier when you're formatting text. Here, let's take this, um, just this little part right here. Let's say we want to just change the color on it. Well, again, highlight it, and we can just change its color. Good. I think that's about it for the uh, text tool that you need to know. I mean, that's pretty common between all programs, I think. Uh, we'll get into the terminology later. For right now, I just want you to know where it's at, where, where the properties are, and how to change them. And let's go on to the next video.